on his side of helping America, even though there's already protests going on and stuff like that. I think some of what he said should, should mellow out all of that stuff, because during his speech he talked about how no matter what race or ethnicity or whatever you are, we all bleed the same color, red blood, and I guess he's sort of seeing now that America was built on immigrants, so that's not what he's trying to get rid of. I don't want to put words in his mouth, these are my ideas of what, what came out. Um, so I guess he's trying to show that he's not, he's not saying, oh, screw everybody, but let's, let's focus on us, not them, which is great because I think we've had a lot of issues throughout the world of America trying to step in and put in our two cents and it hasn't benefited us always, which kind of sucks. But what President Trump was saying during his speech is that we're at least as far as he can make a difference or whatever, he's going to try and keep America focused on America for the most part, which is cool because I think right now, since, since we're such a divided nation over his presidency, that focusing on what's going on in America is a great idea. Now, I'm skeptical just as much as everyone else is about him taking over as president of the United States, but I'm a citizen of this country and I think the only thing that we can do now is stand behind him because he is in charge and even if we don't love all of his ideas, we still have to support him to stay strong as a nation, which is important because I don't know about everyone else, but I love living in America. I love the freedom. I love that we're just such an open nation with all the differences that go on and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of kind of wary about where it's going to go, but I know that as long as we stick together as a nation, we'll get through whatever happens because this isn't the first time that we've been divided because when Obama was elected, a bunch of the Republicans and racists and all of that were against him. But we've seen over the past eight years that we can get through that and it'll work out because he's now he's one of the most celebrated presidents. So we'll see where it goes. Trump, I don't know what's going to happen, but I stand behind you for, until you're out of the presidency. But I think that's the best we can do right now, guys, is just stand behind him and see where it takes us. Um, so that's what's up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a nicer video in a, in a minute about other stuff so that we're not just on that subject. Okay, so on a lighter note, we're going to start talking about my idea for a road trip. Yes. Um, so, kind of a dream that I've been having for a couple, couple years is buying a school bus and renovating it to like a little, little mobile home and driving it across the country. So, my idea right now is buy like one of the short buses and renovate it into a motor home and drive to all 50, or have a trip to all 50 states in 50 days and the rules would be that I had to stay in each state and sleep there so that I'm not just going through like three states at a time and calling it calling it my adventure. I want to spend time in each state and hang out and see some of the, the stuff that each state has. Um, for Alaska and Hawaii, I would fly out from either probably LA, Seattle, or San Francisco to Alaska spend a day out in Alaska and then fly to Hawaii and hang out there and I'd probably spend like three days in Hawaii and then fly back to one of those three places and get back in the bus and make my way back home. So I've been looking at the, the price of some, some of the short buses and they're about like $4,000 or something like that. So, i just initially be in for $4,000, and then probably I'm figuring like maybe another $4,000 to renovate the bus to make it a nice little home for me on the road so that I can save some money on hotels and campgrounds and stuff like that. Well, 
I still have to pay for campgrounds because, you know, I gotta have somewhere to park the bus. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my idea for that. And I'm working on mapping it out and figuring out uh, how to buy the bus and how to renovate it. And I've been watching some videos on other people's renovated buses and think it'll be a great idea and if you haven't realized by now I love the outdoors and stuff like that um, a little background uh, me and two other friends we did a road trip from Atlanta to LA over this past summer in 2016 and it took us about two and a half weeks to drive out to LA and back to Atlanta and we stopped in Dallas met Richard Rawlings with Gas Monkey Garage. Well, we didn't really meet him. We more uh, saw him and he said, it's early and we were like, what's up? And that's how that went. Got a little starstruck. Um, and then we went to, uh, we went to, what's that place in Roswell, New Mexico with all the alien stuff and that was pretty cool. And then we went over to the Grand Canyon, which was probably our favorite place, our favorite natural site that we stopped at other than Yosemite. Um, so we went from the Grand Canyon to, I think we went straight from there to LA, hung out in LA. It was cool, we saw the Hollywood sign, walked down Hollywood Boulevard, played on Santa Monica Pier, walked down Venice Beach. It was a great time out there. After that, we took Highway 1 all the way up to San Francisco. And that was a beautiful drive. If you haven't done it, highly recommend it. It is awesome. Oh, I forgot. Um, when we were in Arizona, we drove on Route 66 some. And trying to think of the name of the general store that we stopped at it was an awesome little little store on there I'll, I'll remember it and put it in the description but that was cool another thing that we're gonna do later is take a road trip on the whole route 66 which will be fun we'll probably do that once we're out of college um after um Little, little thing about San Francisco. We went there, we went to Mere Woods and saw the big trees and <laughs> that was a funny day for us. But uh, when we were trying to leave San Francisco, we didn't realize how much traffic there was in that city. It took us two hours to get two blocks to get onto the highway. It was insane. I, I, I don't know anything like it, but after San Francisco, we went over to Yosemite and hung out there, and that was some, some amazing views. The hike was terrible. Oh, me and, me and my buddy, we were dying. <laughs> it, was, it was fun, though. It was well worth going. I'm really glad that, that we, we did the hike. When we got back down, we went bought some merchandise, little, little souvenirs, and I put mine down somewhere, so I don't know what happened to it, but I lost my Yosemite stuff, that really ticked me off, um, that was a fun time though, after that we headed over to Vegas, Vegas is an interesting place, I, if you haven't been there, it's undescribable, we saw the water show in front of the Bellagio which was really cool um, hung out there some guy told me about how he he was with a prostitute that night it was it was weird Vegas is an interesting place after that we headed over to Moab and spent spent some time in Mount Zion National Park which was awesome and then once we got to Moab we hung out there, saw some of the scenery, and then we went to uh, Arches National Park, which was beautiful. Um, yeah, that was cool. Then we headed up to Denver, 
Colorado is one of the one of my favorite states because of how beautiful it is and yeah so we hung out there I had my cousin that we stayed with which was a great time um, after that we headed through Kansas we didn't stay in Kansas because I, I don't have a reason but we stayed in uh, Kansas City on the Missouri side and then the, the next morning we went to uh, that was a long day the next day um, we went to St. Louis and saw the big arch and they were doing some construction there um, the arch was cool and then we drove down to Nashville and hung out saw some stuff and Dylan did something funny I can't say it but he'll know what I'm talking about if he watches this um yeah uh and then we we were supposed to stay in Nashville that night but we were all tired we were all ready to get back home so instead of staying in Nashville we drove all the way back to Atlanta <laughs> and I drove that whole day it was about 12 hours it was a long day but I was so glad to be home back with my family it was awesome but that's sort of what we started planning that trip when we were like 15 years old and we got it to come together and we actually went out and did it which was really cool and it was a great time great experience good way to just end our our uh, high school career I guess and move on to see what we had coming up in the future and uh, it was a good time and that's that's sort of what gave me the idea of the 50 states in 50 days and I'm hoping to make that dream come true too and yeah so I'll keep you all posted on all that another idea that I've had with the bus is that I might try and reach out to people and get some advertisements put on the bus I'll probably do like some 10 by 10 spots on the bus where people can put up their advertisement so that you know if I'm gonna be out there for 50 days and the bus is gonna be on the road why not why not help some people out and throw their logos on there and some information and just help other people while I'm out enjoying my time so that's kind of the the idea and some background thanks for watching um, sorry to put the politics in the beginning of the video I'll try and stay away from that in the future but today I had to um, again thanks for watching throw a thumbs up thumbs down let me know if you like the talk let me know what you think about my road trip idea all of that good stuff have a great day good night all that stuff I'll catch y'all later peace love smiles deuces